that morning was the only bit I actually remember. I was going around a left hand bend and for some reason sat the bike up mid bend and hit a van head on. I knew that kind of my life was coming to an end. And I could just feel myself kind of slipping away and accepting it. And it was a real, weirdly, a really nice, peaceful time. I can always remember the reason why I started to fight. The nurses at the time were going through my CDs and they said, well, he, he won't need these, he won't need any of these CDs because he's gonna be, he's gonna be dead or whatever. And they picked up my Joshua Tree album, U2 album. And that was it. I loved this album. And I thought to my, you know, it was a, a moment of, I'm not dying. I'm not dying for anybody. And that was it. And it wasn't the fact, you know, of my family, anything, because I was completely happy to go. The surgeons and everything um, said, whatever he's doing, is fighting. And he said um, that you're never going to use your arm again and don't think you'll ever ride a bike again. Kind of laying out of bed for a couple of hours, just even more numb than I was already, I think. I was so fed up of being miserable. My life was going nowhere, I just felt angry all the time. And yeah, I just had one of those moments that I, I'd been waiting for for a while to hit the actual bottom and then to think, right, now I can start going up. The first day I went to um, Aylesbury to the, to the disabled target shooting of Great Britain and to meet people who have been through more horrific things in their life than I have, you kind of didn't, you don't feel on your own anymore. And that was it, I, I kind of sat down and, and shot some 10 meter. 2012 was probably the best time of my life. I knew that this was my time. And it's quite, a, it's quite one of those moments where everybody is just, the whole, everyone is just, and the crowd has erupted and people are just crying and, you know, to me to sat there, just staring at my gun thinking, we've done it. It's been a long time coming, really, the feeling that I get from mountain biking because I can do it and feel so able-bodied. It takes all of my injury away. Well, of course, because I can't use my right arm, what my, the grip of my hand as such, so I actually have to be strapped onto the right handlebar. It's all well and good until I sort of come off and then I'm still strapped to a bike, which is sometimes cartwheeling. It's just unreal. It's just it's like a, it's just like a different world once you're out on the moors. It's just the fact that you just don't see anybody. There's no traffic. There's no no anything. You know, it's just peaceful. It's just you and mountain biking. And I love it. I mean, it, it just takes me back to youth and you know it takes you and it actually takes me back to being on a motorbike as well you know when you are on a motorbike you've got that you're just on your own and it's you're free mm -hmm.